What's up, DC Nation? So I know this video is uh, is late, but uh, the Wizards eliminated the Hawks, getting payback. But um, they're going up against the Celtics now in the semifinals. Uh, I know I really don't sound that excited right now. I was uh, last Saturday once once the Wizards eliminated the Hawks in Atlanta because that was their first road playoff win. I'm glad that series didn't go into Game 7. We just put them away in Game 6. But uh, I, like I said, guys, I know this video was late. I wasn't expecting the Wizards Celtics series to start on Sunday. I figured it was going to be like in the middle of the week, like the Capitals Penguins was, but it wasn't. The Wizards, so far the Wizards, they're actually not doing good right now. Their, their road record is continuing to slug. They're they're like they're just sluggish on the road. They're one and four in the playoffs so far. The next two games will be in DC. Now the Wizards, they are a good team at home. They're three zero at home, so I'm hoping they can figure something out, tie up this series, turn that three zero home record into a five zero record, and then uh, we'll see what happens in Game Five by that point. But Game Three is today, and it's in DC, and. So far, the Capitals have been better than the Celtics, but, like, they get these big leads at the end of the first quarter, and then they just give it up, and then we end up losing. Like, I want to say, game, uh, I end up watching game two. We had a 13-point lead at the end of the first quarter. The lead got cut down to three at the half, and then the Celtics tied the game in the fourth quarter because the Wizards had a bad fourth quarter, and to make things worse, the Wizards had a bad overtime. So... Uh, Gortat got fouled out. He had three stupid fouls, I want to say, like in overtime. He could have done better. Bradley Beal didn't show up in game two, which is why the Wizards lost that game because we were relying on John Wall way too much. I mean, John Wall had 40 points that game, but Bradley Beal only had 14. If, he, if Bradley would have been in the late 20s, we would have won that game. It would have been that simple. But... Anyway, the Wizards, you know, we'll see how they do at home. Hopefully they'll defend home court, increase that undefeated home playoff record. And uh, as for the Capitals, I'm fixing to get on here and make another Crow video because the Capitals, well, they're not, the Capitals aren't eliminated out of the playoffs yet, but they, um, they're fixing to be eliminated. They're down 3-1 in the series. They lost last night, even though Crosby wasn't playing. And if the Capitals lose one more game, they're they're going they're going to get eliminated, just like last year. The Capitals they just seem completely worse, like every year. Two years ago, they have they got seven playoff wins. Last year they got six. This year they got five. I mean, the Capitals still aren't out of it yet, but they can still. I don't know what the Capitals will do, to be honest. Game 5 will be in D.C. The Capitals are 0-2 at home in the series, but they're 2-3 they're, uh, overall is their home playoff record. They haven't won a home playoff game since they played the Maple Leafs in Game 5. So I don't know what the Penguins are going to do here. I don't know if, if they're like, okay, we beat them at home twice. We'll just go ahead and take them out. Or if they'll lose on purpose and make us think we forced Game 6 into it and then they'll try to put us away in Pittsburgh I'm kinda hoping that is true I kinda hope the Penguins do lose on purpose and you know we do force game six and hopefully it'll actually turn out to bite them in the ass you know hopefully we can beat them in Pittsburgh force game seven and then put you know somehow win the series out of game seven and then move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. But it's hard to do that with only one playoff win. But, hey, the Rangers did it, so, you know, maybe the Capitals can do it. Last year they didn't do it. Last year they forced game six, but that was the furthest they went. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with the Capitals. They'll play tomorrow. Hopefully they'll force game six. At least do the same amount of uh, playoff damage like they did last year. You know, try to get at least six playoff wins. Or if anything, you know, tie game seven and be just like two years ago. So I apologize for that last video I made of the Capitals versus Penguins uh, semifinals rematch. I did that video way too late, and it, that video was at night, and I couldn't, I could, I wasn't at my apartment, so.
I couldn't, uh, I didn't have any daytime. I was, I was like right, like right outside work. So I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, get light in there. So that's probably why that video is not doing so well. Of course, I kind of prefer if that video didn't do well right now because of the way the Capitals are playing. I mean, I don't even know what to say about the Capitals. They, they just, they do so good in the regular season and in the playoffs, they act like they've never been there before. It's ridiculous. But, I mean, the Capitals minor league team is doing good. They went, they went, they went, they went, they won the Eastern Conference Championship last year, but they got swept in the finals by the, um, by the Blue Jackets minor league team. And so far, speaking of the Capitals minor league team, they're set, the second round hasn't even started yet, but they're going to be going up against the Bruins minor league team. So if the Capitals get eliminated, you know, next thing to do is, you know, continue rooting for the Wizards, see how far the Wizards can get. And then uh, we'll see if the Capitals minor league team can go all the way. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully I won't have to be back on here tomorrow making a crow. I'm hoping we can come back and uh, win this series.